Welcome to the series of videos designed to show you how to simulate a horn-fed reflector antenna using ANSYS HFSS. In this video, part 2 of the series, we'll create the 3D model of the reflector. Shown here, where later on we'll be able to animate and overlay electric fields. First, open up ANSYS Electronics Desktop, as I've already done here. Then, the instructions invite you to go to Tools, Options, General Options, and then change some of the settings. I'd like to invite you to do this at your own pace. If you are already continuing on from part one, then you could go to File New to create a new project. If you're opening it up from scratch, just go to Project, Insert HFSS IE Design. Then go to Modeler and Units and change the units to inches as your default. Let's save this project and call it Reflector. Now we're going to add parameters immediately rather than doing it as we go. So to do that, we go to HFSS, IE, Design Properties, and add these parameters up front. Let's go add, give a name to your variable, for example, focus. Don't worry about the unit type. Let's give it the value of 10. Similarly, we're going to add another variable, reflector radius. Give this a value of 13. Click OK, hit apply, and you should see in the bottom left properties window that these parameters come up as part of this project. Now this is the coolest part. We're going to use an equation-based curve to create this dish. First we'll create a little line which goes from here to here, and then sweep that around the z-axis to create the reflector. To do this, go to draw equation-based curve, and here it's a parameterized curve starting with a t or reference time at 0, end of 13, so 14 points in total. The x value will always be equal to 0 regardless. The y value will be this parameter t times 1 inch. The z value, which is the complicated one, is going to be entered as shown. Focus minus t squared. Divided by the denominator of 4 times focus. All multiplied by minus 1 inch. Instead of using nt as 13, call this the reflector radius, which is the value we entered earlier, and hit OK. If you press Ctrl D on your keyboard, you'll see this line. If you zoom out, you'll see where this is. You can see that it is in line with x equals 0. The t values increase from 0 up to 13 along the y-axis, and the z values show that this is below the z-axis, z equals 0 plane, going up towards the y-axis. Now let's sweep this around the axis. So we go to Edit, Select All, then go Draw, Sweep, Around Axis. Then we pick the axis we want to sweep around, Set Axis, keep the default settings here, click OK, and boom, there we have it. It's been sweeped. This one line has been used to create the entire dish reflector. Now let's make this dish a perfect electrical conductor. So go to Edit, Select All, to select this dish, then go to HFSS IE, go to Boundaries, Assign, Perfect D. Click OK. Now let's rename this, rather than having it here as Perfect D Equation Curve 1, let's make it called Reflector. Now let's export this geometry. Again, we select all, I'm just going to press Control A on my keyboard, then go to Draw, 3D Component Library, Create 3D Component. Now we can export this geometry, fill this in as you see fit. Change the name of this component to reflector. When you're done, click OK. You'll be prompted to enter the name of this file. Let's call it reflector IE design. Hit save. Now let's simply copy this into HFSS rather than HFSS IE. 
so that we can use it for the future parts. So let's go to project, insert HFSS design, which you'll see in the project manager window. window. For this HFSS solution, check that the solution type is driven modal. Press OK. Go to modeler, units, inches again. Click OK. Now let's copy and paste this geometry. So if we double click in this window and go right click, edit, copy, and then go back to the HFSS design, right click, edit, paste, press Ctrl D on your keyboard, then it should pop up as shown. While this imports the geometry across to HFSS, it does not take the boundary condition. So go to edit, select all, HFSS, boundaries, assign, perfect E. Hit OK. Go to edit, select all. This time we're going to give an IE region. So go HFSS, hybrid, assign hybrid, IE region. Integral equation region, that's the correct type, click OK. Now we're going to set one of the mesh settings. So go to HFSS, mesh operations, and go to initial mesh settings, and say apply curvilinear elements to all curved surfaces. There are a few notes here on this slide, feel free to read them at your own pace as well. Now let's export this as a geometry. Again, we select all, let's press Control A, now go draw, 3D component library, create 3D component, fill in this area as you see fit. Make sure to name this component reflector. Now click OK. And we're going to call this file reflector underscore integral equation region underscore curvy for curvilinear mesh. Hit save. Now we have our components ready for the next part. Thank you for watching.